Hey there, today we're going to show you how to remove plastic adhesive off of your vehicle. And what I mean by that is sometimes uh, manufacturers sell clear bras to go on the hoods of vehicles. They sell them to go on the uh, rear bumper so that your luggage doesn't damage the rear bumper, the top of the rear bumper. And a lot of manufacturers use stone guards in front of the rear wheel to protect the area. Let me show you what I mean here. This is a 09 Lexus IS350. And as you can see here, the plastic adhesive right here stuck to the side of the car uh, is starting to look a little dingy. So we're going to remove that and I'll be replacing it a bit later. But today I just wanted to show you real quickly how we're going to remove that plastic adhesive. So let me get set up here and let me show you what we're going to use. Today we're going to use a heat gun. You could use a hair dryer, but uh, these you can get from your discount uh, part stores for um, 20 bucks or less. Um, a box of rags, a goo gone or something similar. I'm using a sponge to put the goo gone on and something to scrape with. Credit card, a uh, plastic scraper of sorts. I wouldn't use anything metal or you may scratch the paint. All right, let me get a setup here. And we are back. And the first thing that we're going to want to do here is <clears throat> I real quickly clean the area around it. Um, so you can do that, it's optional. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our heat gun here and we're going to start heating the plastic area. These heat guns get quite hot. So what you're doing with this right now, and you want to keep this heat gun away from plastic areas, like this right here is plastic, this is metal. The metal can take the heat more than the plastic can. Uh, but we're just real quickly, we're heating up the adhesive glue that is behind this uh, clear plastic protector. And that's so that we can get our scraper to go ahead and start peeling it off. And this has been on this car for quite a while. So as you see here, now that we have that glue softened up, we can get the, the scraper behind it. Now, if it's old like this one, which is uh, 10 years old, it's probably going to take quite a little bit of time and patience getting this off. It'll probably come off in pieces. And if you find it starts kind of ripping like that, you might want to heat it up just a little bit because it can be spots where the glue is getting soft. And if you want to, you can just heat up one area at a time. Um, the glue will stay kind of soft for at least five or 10 minutes. But what you're doing is you're just using this scraper to run against the plastic. So I'll go ahead and get this finished. And then we'll uh, show you what the next step is once you've gotten all this scraped off, okay? And we are back. And as you can see here, all of the plastic adhesive has been scraped off. Off camera, this probably took me less than five minutes to get all this scraped off thanks to the heat gun. So now is a little bit of a tedious process. Now we're going to get uh, something like Goo Gone. Uh, there's a couple of men, I think 3M makes something that a lot of people like. The Goo Gone's always worked for me and I've kept it in the house for various reasons. I have kids. Goo Gone's very helpful with kids. So what we're going to do is I'm just using a sponge. I think this is like a wax applicator, um, stain applicator. Uh, there's a couple of different uses for these, but I soaked it up with the Goo Gone and I'm going to just rub it on this area right here. And think of any time you pull any adhesive off, whether it be a sticker or plastic uh, protector, think of it as peeling layers of onion. You're not going to get all this off with the first rub of this Goo Gone. Uh, reason being is when you do your scrape of the Goo Gone after this, you're just taking the Goo Gone off along with the top layers of, of adhesive. I find that this process will take several times. It might be able to um, be a little bit shorter with a different type of um, adhesive remover, but Goo Gone for me, this process has taken about two or three times. And what you're gonna to do is after letting it set for just a second to let the adhesive uh, break down, you're gonna to wanna to take your scraper here and you're gonna to want to start scraping 
again, you're going to not get everything off right at first. And this is why this takes patience. Is you're going to have to do this several times. But as you can see here, some of that adhesive is starting to build up. And so what you'll do is you'll take your paper towel and you'll pull that adhesive off. And then we're going to use our goo gone again. And we're going to put some more goo gone on here. Now, you can also, uh, if you want to, you can heat, heat, hit it with a heat gun. That will help soften it up. But I find this does just as good when we get down to the glue level and we need to break it down. The reason for the sponge is, well, it holds the goo gone in it. And I have to do this several times to get all the adhesive off of it. So... Uh, we'll let it set there for just a second, and we'll continue working on it. I'll pick up here in just a minute. All right, this is now my third time rubbing this down with Goo Gone to take another layer off. And I can see some paint coming through, meaning not in a bad way, just where the adhesive has been removed. So I know I'm getting down a few layers. Like I said, this probably will take you several times to do in order to get all the adhesive off and it does take a bit of elbow grease uh, to get it off now this tool that i'm using you can get from your discount store this is one of the, the trim tools that comes in the trim set uh, for removing like door panels um, stuff like that and it has a nice sharp ish plastic edge on it that's uh, good for getting behind this adhesive and you're just going to want to put the pressure on it and continue scraping. And it will seem like a very slow process to get it off. And again, something else might make the process faster. But I know this works because I have done this. I actually yesterday removed a clear plastic uh, adhesive protector from my trunk. And I did the same method. And it took me about an hour and a half to remove it. And as you can see here, you can go a different angle. And sometimes you get a little bit more adhesive off. You see it balling off there. And once you've gotten a good bit of it off, and no more will want to come off anymore, then it's time to reapply the Goo Gone. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here, and we'll see, show you the uh, what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, now here we are. We'll do one final wipe down. And we have gotten all of the adhesive taken off of the car. Now you want to do a good wipe down when you're done. Because many times when you're finished and you wipe it down, then you can see the little spots of adhesive that you missed. Now if you miss a little spot, take your goo gone. Rub it over it, let it sit for a second. Take your scraper and get after it. You want to make sure that all of the goo is gone. All the adhesive is gone, and that is it. You are done. You are ready to replace it, or if you so wish, you can leave it like it is. If you uh, use something else to take off other than Goo Gone, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you use. If you like this video content, uh, make sure you hit that like button below. Subscribe for more automotive uh, how-to tutorial videos. Check out my playlist for a few others. All right, appreciate your time today. Thanks.